Hey again, welcome to another episode of Insurance Unboxing. Got a big box of stuff at an auction recently. And as always, never 100% sure what they're actually going to put in the box. Sometimes they forget stuff. Sometimes they out and out lie about it. Or once in a while, I get cool little bonus extras. Usually in the form of candy. Sometimes in the form of origami birds. I'm not sure how that became a trend, but right on. Then again, I do buy a lot of stuff from Japan, so that part makes a little bit of sense, but still, why that became the packing item, who knows. Anyway, here we go, and it is a big lot of Star Trek Strike Force figures. I got one of these the other day on its own because I wanted the little figures, and then I saw this whole thing come up at auction. And even though they charged me an arm and a leg for shipping, I'm still happy to have it. Because they still basically cost less than it would have otherwise, but this is cute. Granted, it wouldn't have cost as much as if I'd gotten it clearance. Wow, this was apparently $3 at one point. You will pay more for that now in most cases. But uh, happy I got some Klingons, got some Ferengi. Let's see what's here. Oh, I wasn't expecting to get Deanna Troy, but okay, I have Deanna Troy now. What else do I have here? Borg! This is the big thing that I really wanted. I wanted all these little Borg. Uh, da, da, da. I also got Klingon Bird of Prey with a couple more Klingons. So chock-a-block with Klingons. I got a Maquis Fighter with... It says Chakotay and Torres, but... Duh. I'm going to go ahead and say two Blob Faces with... Little pinprick eyes. Those don't look like anybody. <laughs> At least Riker and Picard, you can kind of see her Riker and Picard, but... Uh, I got the... Oh, wow! I was not expecting this at all. Woo! Heavy Pewter Star Trek Three Bird of Prey, which is a cool Bird of Prey. Uh, see, this was a total surprise. I was not expecting to get this. Didn't know this was in the lot. Yay! Because it's kind of cool. Not sure if I'll keep it or sell it, but it's kind of cool either way. And this was, ooh, it's got limited edition certificate. Like those matter with Star Trek merchandise, they make millions of all of these things. All right, let's see what else we got here, because we're not done. We've got more Klingons. Wow, I've got kind of too many Klingons now, right? <laughs> okay. Let's see. Do, do, do. More Ferengi. Officially now more Ferengi than I need. I got another Riker. I got a Starfleet Away team. I wanted this, so this is cool. This guy's holding a phaser, but it kind of looks like he's holding a saxophone just from the positioning. <laughs> ah, good times. Let's see, I got another Wharf. I got Vash! Because she needed her own action figure. She really did, honestly. There are characters who only got one episode and made no impact on the culture of the series that got action figures, and she was in at least three that I can remember, so she deserves one. Although, why they gave her this dress, who knows, because this is like her least memorable outfit, but whatever. Do, do, do. Finally, I think this is the last thing in here. Yeah, it looks like it. All right, I also got a Mugatu. I bid on him separate from the other stuff and they tossed him in here and uh, I just really wanted this Mugatu because look at him. He's got a big spike in his head. He, his character design makes little to no sense but it's also one of the most classic Star Trekky things out there and I love it. And what accessories did they give him? They gave him some sort of fruit? I don't know. A flower pot? That is definitely a flower pet. Look, it's even got the little hole in the bottom. They totally gave Mugatu a flower pot. Is that in the episode? I will have to go and rewatch that. And then, well, it looks like some sort of a phaser or something like that. Again, I haven't seen this episode in quite some time, so I'm not sure if he eats some berries and then plants some flowers and then, you know, phases something, but it could happen. Oh, it's, here's what it says on the back Mako root. Alright. Oh, it's used to counter the Mugatu poison. That's a drum? That is not a drum. I guess it's got a closed top, so okay, it's a drum, but. It's got a hole in the bottom. It looks like a flower pot. And this is indeed a phaser, okay? And then somewhere back here is apparently a shotgun that you can't really see, but it's listed in the 
stuff. So I'm clearly most excited about this Mugatu, and he's in pretty good condition, so happy about that. Yay for the Mugatu! They could have given him more articulation because he's only got five points, but oh well. Still cool to have. And this looks like a win. I'm happy with this lot. I hope you are happy to have watched me unbox it. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you enjoyed, please consider a like and subscribe.